Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Lunkers and Bucks. It's an absolutely beautiful Sunday morning, uh, late October, getting ready to head into November. Ice cold this morning, but it's starting to warm up. Uh, we're out here at the Great Dismal Swamp, Lake Drummond. It is absolutely glass calm. And I got out here and it was it was pretty cold, but now I'm starting to warm up. It's a beautiful day. I'm out fishing for catfish and bowfin. I've got uh, my jugs out, my pool noodles, and I've got a uh, topwater clacker bobber for the uh, bowfin. Um, a lot of uh, crappy out here, uh, but I'm going for the bigger fish. Uh, never really fished out here in the winter or when it's really cold. It's only about five feet of water. I'm in about four feet of water right now using uh, cut up brim, cut up, uh, as they call them out here, specks or um, crappy, uh, as I call them. I already got a couple nibbles on the jugs and I'm hunting and pecking for the bowfin. I've caught a 10 pound bowfin out here earlier this year on the jugs, but I want to catch them on a uh, line and hook. Uh, that would be a citation in Virginia. And I'd like to have my bowfin citation, not to mention they're just fun as hell to catch. Um, there's no bass out here because of the acid buildup in the water. And you know, right now, because it's cold, there's no snakes, there's no turtles, other types of food that the bowfin will eat. I once had a, a caught a bowfin with a 12 inch snake in its belly. So I'm hoping with the cut bait and with the clacker make a little bit of noise to get their attention, I'll get another big bowfin out here. You can never, uh, I never shy away from a good catfish either. Again, I already had some nibbles um on the jugs it sucked the bait right off so uh, it's looking looking like a good shot out here today but if you if this is your first time here please like and subscribe uh if you've been here before good to see you again hope everything's going well um yeah i'm getting nibbles all over the place so this is great good day ducks are all over the place i'm going to learn to be a duck hunter one of these days i don't know if you can hunt duck here but you can hunt deer, you can hunt uh, bear if you're selected. They've got a quota hunt system out here at the Great Dismal Swamp. Missed it this year, but I will be in on it for sure next year hunting uh, white-tailed deer. Big bear, there's a big 400-pound, 500-pound bear out here. That's just too much work. Uh, I'll settle for a 200-pound uh, white-tailed deer, and hopefully they'll have a duck hunt one of these days. But again, out here in the Great Dismal Swamp, beautiful, beautiful day. Um, Man, just lucky. So I'm going to hopefully catch a couple fish and uh, get out and watch some football later today. But let's get on it. Thanks for watching. So there's a mixture and because of the acid water, mostly catfish and uh, bowfin, all kinds of other species, but those are the two main ones. And uh, there's a ton of crappie actually. Can be tough to, to find, but obviously up around the edges is where they normally are. You can find a deep hole or deeper hole. It's only five feet deep all the way across the uh, dismal here or Lake Drummond. And it'll get down to a foot, depending on where you're at. And I can hear them ducks too. Oh. So, what I find works best out here. For bowfin is using bait about foot, two foot off the top. Whereas catfish usually do better fishing with some type of cut bait off the bottom or on the bottom. A lot of stumps, the closer you get, the more stumps there are. Um, and again, no bass that I have caught. I think they've tried to stock it, but again, acid water doesn't do a whole lot of good for them. 
All right, the baits are set. Make sure a bottom and top. And really at four feet of water, there might not be a big difference. Catfish will normally run with the uh, jug, whereas a lot of times bowfin, once they've got a hold of it, they just kind of hover right there mid-water. <laughs> it's about damn time. You know, that might actually be a snakehead. Let's see if I can get you to jump. Yeah, that's a snakehead, I believe. Oh, he has got some. <laughs> That's a scary ass looking fish. I just got to tell you. I'm going to phone a friend. Look at them teeth. That's a small baby. Got a little spot on the back. I haven't seen that before. I think there's something on that one. <laughs> Just waiting for it to blow up on me. I've still got this one in here. He'll be fine. I think it's a snakehead. And I'm not sure what the regs are on snakeheads. Do you keep them? Do you kill them? Do you throw them back? Different people say different things. I'm a big live and let live guy, but if it's damaging the environment. I mean, only people are allowed to damage the environment. Uh, but if it's one of those species that are doing bad, well. Now that's the monster. And that's what I'm talking about blowing up on you. Woo! Whoa! That's a pretty looking fish. 
that's 10 pounds right there of course that's the fisherman eyes but uh, now these things do have teeth I am out here all by my lonesome and this is a big one so I've got to be careful not to get hooked up that is a big big bowfin and a big big hook on 30 pound mono so don't want to get hooked into him all right that was good surgery is complete I love about them Gabagatu circle hooks. They don't bend, they don't break, they're sharp as hell. All right. And like I said, these fish are biting today. Now, again, these, these bad boys can sit out here for an hour at least and have just as much energy as I just pulled them out. Look at that fucker. Pardon the French. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> now see, this one don't have the spot on the tail. This one is the bowfin, I believe. Whew. That is a hell of a fish. Prehistoric fish. All right. It looks like once this water warmed up, both fin just going a little crazy. So my wife's got stuff she wants to do and I've got to head out and boom, the fish don't stop fighting. Look at that. I might have to use my get out of jail free cord. <laughs> the rule is that the fish are biting, I can't leave. Yeah, look at that. that. They're biting too. All right. Whew. Yeah, whatever that was, just got lucky. Because I got to go. Although that's got something on it. There's a little something for you. A restaurant I like to go to called Blue Peach down in Pungo. My wife's a big fan of it too, so if you ever want to take your wife out for a good time, one of the fun things they got there is they, uh, it's in Pungo, it's in Back Bay, and they have a bubblegum feeder filled with dog food, and you can feed the, uh, there's a, they're right there on the water, so there's fish catfish and uh, carp that come up that you can feed that are gigantic and they're, they're basically pets they know that you know that restaurant's been there 40 years ultimately everything turned out to be a bowfin the best way to tell them apart is the belly tail uh, bowfin have a very small one whereas uh, snakeheads have a very long one but the dark color is what got me all confused but a good day of fishing overall Really appreciate you guys watching. Got to go home, get some grub, spend some time with the fam, watch a little bit of football. Again, thanks for watching Lunkers and Bucks. Uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great one.